What's up, guys? It's not even Thursday. It's Wednesday, and here we are doing a little surprise surprise stream. I'm I'm not even gonna call you Tepols, and I'm gonna call you Tommy because that's who you are. You're Tommy. What's next? I mean, how many more how many more games do they have that they can like lock down? Right? Like they've got. They've got War Divisions. They've got a couple of other games, like you know. But I mean, I, I think I think next is probably going to be Ever Crisis, right? Uh, Ever Crisis has got to be the next one to go. Genesis, hello, Cujo, hello, Pizza Pop, hello. You're opening free ticket. What did you get? Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought, just in terms of Final Fantasy, that like just Ever Crisis and War of the Visions was all they had left. Yeah. Um, it could just be you. Like when you say like sounds echoey, is it like me talking or is it the um, the game audio? Me? Um. Okay, hold on. I don't know. Does anybody do I sound echoey echoey to anybody else? Probably just you, Hux. I don't know. I didn't I didn't change any settings for that. I changed uh reverb is a better description. I guess I could I could turn myself down a little bit. You know, maybe maybe turning it down a little bit helps. I cut some of the decibels. I don't want to lose too much. You know, my my voice is what pe brings people to this channel. What's up, Ezio? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome, first time chatter. It's better now. I probably just had it cranked too high. You know how OBS is, or maybe you don't know how OBS is. OBS is kind of random like that. I feel like I'm constantly having to adjust things and like it resets itself and like Windows will update something and then all of a sudden like I'll have to change everything in, in OBS. It's annoying. There's a part of me that just like wants to uh, now it's meant perfect. Yeah, I, I believe Facebook folks are still locked out, which is like to me the saddest thing. OBS is a is called it's 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 a, the abbreviation for Open Broadcast Software. It's the free software that I use to manage all of my streams. Because I'm I do this whole thing on a on a very strict budget, <laughs> AKA like no budget whatsoever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Facebook folks are locked out. Like, there's there's no way they were gonna fix fix that. Like, you know, with with two days left, uh, it's like Streamlabs. But yeah, Streamlabs is also free. Correct. I like OBS a little better. Um, the main reason that I like it a little better is that for some reason the green screen controls in OBS are better than the green screen controls in Streamlabs OBS, and they say they're based on the same engine, but they are totally different. Like, uh, I can copy my settings from regular OBS for my green screen over to Streamlabs, and it uh, it does not work. Like, the, uh, the green screen settings are not the same. That's a good question. What are my plans after FFBE shutdown? I'll tell you what my plans are, but you have to tell me what your plans are too. Um, my plans are to keep on playing the games that I've been playing uh, outside of FFBE. I've been playing a lot of Hollow Knight. Um, I've been playing some like indie games. I've been playing some like fan-made games for uh, uh, like a, a fan-made Castlevania game, a fan-made Legend of Zelda game. I am I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy 13 playthrough. Um, number stream number three will be coming out um, as soon as we do it. Yeah, I'm just I, I I could switch over to JP. Um, I'm just not like uh, I don't know. I feel like I've I feel like I've I've done my thing for for FFBE. I think I'm ready to to just kind of unlock myself from my phone 
um, in terms of gaming. And uh, I, I still ke I keep a couple games on my phone because my kids like to play games on my phone. Um, but like, I am just kind of ready to not be married to my phone in terms of gaming. So save that for social media. And Discord, of course. I gotta talk to all my peeps on Discord. Yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same. Like, uh, they're, they're different games. Um, they said repeatedly, you know, they're different games. Um, so, like, even if you, like, know the core engine, like, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be a different experience. Like, it's a different mindset for how you, how you ch take on challenges and stuff. The units are different types of power levels and stuff like that. So, yeah. Well, let, let's let's dive in uh, to doing some some reminiscing. Um, we're gonna start by looking at some some sprites, I think. Okay. Parent question: In the future, my kids want to try gotcha. Would you would you just have advice for them, or would I discourage it? Um, if my kids wanted to do gotcha in the future, um, I would talk to them about uh, using their money wisely. I would talk to them about gambling. I would talk to them about um, being free to play and like learning to use the game resources as wisely as you can. Um, but at the end of the day, if it's their money, like I wouldn't pay for it. If it's their money because they have a job and they want to pay for it and they want to spend their 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 resources, that's on them. You know, oh, we got as much as I love this music. We're gonna we're gonna put. We're going to put this music on for what we're doing tonight. Uh, for sure. No purchases, says Enzo. Uh, Genesis, Ever Crisis, DBZ, Dokken Battle, and replaying the Final Fantasy series. Yeah. Good choices. Good choices. I actually just beat five the other day. Uh, I've been I've been kind of on the side, not streaming, just doing it for me, playing five again. And I beat it the other day. Pretty excited about it. Um, one of the things I wanted to do tonight is, is go back in time. We're going to get back in the Wayback Machine. And we're going to talk about some sprites. And we're going to look at, we're going to look at some of these monsters. Look at, look at some of these monsters. Who, who could forget the dire rat? What ending did I get in five? Um, are there multiple endings in five? <laughs> if there are, I didn't know. Um... Yeah, uh, I I got the ending that I got. Yes, there's a monster index. You didn't know there's a monster index? Yeah, dude, there's so much in here. You, there's a unit index. Uh, there's a esper index. There is a, an equipment index. There's a gallery of like just neat stuff that they have. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's a vision card thing. Um, yeah. Well, you don't even have to um, Libra the monsters, I don't think. Because, like, I definitely did not Libra all these monsters. Oh, well, uh, if that's the truth, I did beat the game with all five characters still standing. Um, I don't... You remember seeing an attack called Big Bang, but yeah, um, yeah. This menu is great, but it has like all the all the enemies that you ever fought. So like every time we had conversations about like, okay, the new Clash of Wills boss is gonna be a uh, machine beast human. Like we would like find monsters that kind of fit that criteria using this menu. Um, you can see all the like the colors of all the bats and stuff like that. We gotta find some of our favorites, though. So, one of my favorites, if, if we can find it, I can never remember what number it is, but one of my favorites is... And I don't remember, I don't, I don't know what some of these are, so like... Uh, obviously, I'd, for some reason, I missed 177 through 180, you know? Um, how many Clash of Wills boss sprites repeated? Lots of them. Uh, actually, only only a couple of them. Um, and I'll, I'll show you the ones that did. 
Um, where is the monster that I want to show you? Oh my gosh. So like this was the um this was the one that they used for the Lunar New Year Clash of Wills, right? They they've used this this dragon for like lots and lots of different things. Um and then the where's the like um the Minotaur guys? Or the centaur guys. I can find one. I know we can find one. I, I, I'm unprepared. I'm just browsing at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh. The little mech centaur. Yeah, this one. So this one was a Clash of Wills boss. Right? Um, and then... I feel like there was another one. Obviously, they recolored the, um, they recolored the, uh, what do you call it? The Telfusanus sprites. Uh, this was one. So that's three, four if you count Telfusanus. Um, this one was the, ba the basis for my favorite one, which was, uh, the name is, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Um, it was Skies. It was called, um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm drawing a blank. We'll find it. Galaxy Pro, hey, what's up, dude? FFB is what brought me to this community, and I'll stay even after it's gone. I'm glad to hear that, dude. And thanks for subscribing for 20 months in a row. You're incredible. You are absolutely incredible. The biggest, best bro there is. We are looking for... We're looking for sprites that um, were reused for Clash of Wills. Uh, T minus a half hour. No, uh, Beerus, it should be um, Osta. It was Osta, yes. Osta is the one that I'm talking about, is the one that they used that to copy off of. Um, I don't think it's actually a half hour. I think we've got a little ways to go because it's, it's, it's midnight Pacific time. So we've got a few hours left to go. Um, so I don't think we're in a huge rush to say goodbye. It was Osta though. Osta was the undead dragon. Uh, it looks like it looks a lot like this one. I just have to find its sprite number. Um, but yeah, what I really am looking for though is my favorite sprite. I can never remember the 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 number of my favorite sprite. I'm not always good at remembering the numbers. Could it be in the wiki? Uh, it might be. I could check the wiki. Let me check. 
Um, FFBE wiki. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. It's like roast. Is it that one? I think it is a Reaper enemy, actually, which is funny. I just have to find it. Oh, it's 9,055. So we're, it, it, we'd be looking for a while. 9,055. Here he is. My absolute favorite sprite in the game. The cooked turkey, which is for some, some reason, uh, which is for some reason a, uh, an undead reaper enemy. It does make sense it's that far. Just finished screen recording your game, what blue potion? To document what data you're losing. Yeah, that's this. It's a thing a lot of people are doing. I assume then that you're not a Facebook player. Yeah, the, the chicken was good. Hasiko, where is Hasiko? Here's Hasiko. Hasiko was a huge pain. Hasiko was one of those enemies where it was like, they had just come out with ways to refill your MP using a limit burst. And then they, they were like, oh, by the way, you can't use limit burst against Hasiko. Jerks. I, I always, that was one thing that I always disliked about the way they designed enemies. Um, because they would design enemies around like, um, you know, hey, we created this solution to this problem. Oh, now we got to fix it. So like death was a problem. So then they created stuff that was like death immunity. And then they were like, um, oh, by the way, irresistible death. You can you can repeat Earth Shrine if you create a macro for it. That's a thing you can do. Not that I'm endorsing macros. Osta was so cool. This is my favorite one right here. My favorite boss. There was a time, though, I used to have an Earth Shrine macro. Way back in the day. Undead Dragon Osta. So cool. Even its base form was really cool looking. I defeated 13 of it. And 23 of this version. Man. I wonder which Clash of Wills boss I fought the most. Let's see. Uh, I fought Morgana 56 times and then 35. So that's like 100 and... No. 56 and 35 is like... 91? 91 times. Mortarim, I, th I only fought... <laughs> fought Mortarim. Oh gosh, I hated Mortarim. I only fought a total of 13 times. Um, this one, Treshen, I fought 6 times and 8, so not very many times at all. That was before I really cared. Uh, this one I fought a lot. 36 Arborettes. Um, this one. Only 12. That's surprising. Aldaba. Only 11. Okay. That's kind of cool. Dream Wrath. Only. Only 19 times. Did they ever use the Esper sprites in Clash of Wills? No, they never did. Oh, 
Oh, this one was cool. This was um, this was Chizuru's. This one was really cool. Oh, this one was one of my favorites. Raxolotl. That's so cute. He's so adorable. Giorgione. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this one was so awful. We never we never want to experience that one ever again. We won't ever have to. He's he's done. Your therapist says Ginger Buff Man isn't real, he can't hurt you. Are they deleting the YouTube channel too? I doubt that they are deleting the YouTube channel because they just made a big deal about creating all of the like season four story, uh, the videos for it. So I assume they are gonna leave the YouTube channel up um, for whatever that's worth. I did not like this, this version of Osta. This one I did not care for. Giant robot chicken. Yeah, see, here's all the repeats. Um, they they did a repeat with uh, this dragon, this dragon, this dragon, or this centaur, and then the um, Elfusanus sprites. So I guess only four. They only repeated four bosses. Um, this one was one of my favorites, too. I actually really like the color combo of the light blue with the dark blue accents. I really like that. Anyway, there's there's tons of really good sp sprite work here. Like, this thing is cool looking. Elnath, it's good stuff. Telfusanus is definitely one of the best events FFBE ever had, for sure. Faux show. Black cho a bull chocobo. I think this was a uh, Final Fantasy twelve event. You want to fight Vlad one last time? On what difficulty? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, there's a handful of sprites I never I never got, apparently. Oh, story mode, Vlad? Ah, oh, that's cool. Go for it, dude. The this is this was the kind of the stuff that I really liked. I loved seeing representations of, of bosses and enemies from other like from the collab games in FFBE sprite style. So like boss number, um, the tactics sprites I always really, really liked. Um, like this is such a cool sprite. Um, of this boss, like it, honestly, like the sprite looks better than the 3D render from the PlayStation era. Like this is so good. I love seeing stuff like this. Let me go ahead and snooze the incoming ad. You guys are welcome. I just, I just snoozed ads for you. You had to buy a mystery crystal to get a vision card on OG Fina. Good choice, though. I mean, you got nothing better to use with them, right? This, uh, sp spoiler alert, may be a tattoo in my future. Your all-time favorite sprite is Maxwell. Let's see if we can't find Maxwell. Specifically, um, Clarity, the one with the mustache, has to be the one with the mustache. Where is Maxwell going to be? Uh, probably early on, right? Because uh, the Brave Frontier collab was really early. Um, we got our first mana collab here. Uh, the skeleton boss you had to farm keys for. I think he might have just been um, the night, the nightmare king. Let 
We'll, we'll look for him too. Um, Maxwell. Is this Maxwell? Yeah, there's Maxwell. It's a cool looking spray, right? Let's see if we can find him. The the Halloween, the first ho the Halloween bosses. I don't think the first year you had to do the key farming. I think that was like later on. Uh, Halloween. I guess it would be towards the end, right? Because Halloween's uh, not gonna be in JP. Was this the one you had to farm? So there's the Pumpkin Reef Reaper. I don't think this was the one you had to farm keys for. Maxwell is 483 and 484. Let's see it. 484. Um, 484 is Xyphos, and 483 is Iguion, so I don't know what you're talking about, my good sir. Wiki is, Wiki is wrong. There was another one, though, uh, like this one, the Skeleton King. He was really annoying. Um, I only beat him twice. <laughs> uh... I think I beat him like one time the year he ran and then the second when the, when they re-ran him the second year I went back and got him um uh with all missions. I got my revenge. Uh let's check that. Let's check that out. Uh units 483 and 484. Let me turn off all the filters here. Um MK, hello. Um, Maxwell is unit number 483, correct, and 484. You're right. So it's not an error, it's just monster sprite versus unit sprite. MK, what's your favorite monster in the game? Tilith was super good. Derp Dragon? Alright. Derp Dragon it is. Derp Dragon is really cute. He's a chonkers. You can't get in the game? Uh, can't get in the game because like you're a Facebook user? Or is there some other reason why you can't get in? You want to get Derp Dragon as a tattoo? That'd be cool. That actually might be a fun one. A good way to tribute FFBE with a Derp Dragon tattoo. I always really loved the um, the tactics sprites. So like these these various knights and stuff. I was I always enjoyed the tactics sprites. These are cool. Here's a cool looking sprite. Phantasm, hello. Ultros is in here actually. Um, he's gonna be. Um, Right here. Here he is, right there. Vic, hello, first time chatter. Welcome. Yeah, I, I'm... This was kind of like last minute. Um, I kind of... Um, I wasn't planning on doing this. 
Um, and then kind of like as I was thinking about it today, like I thought it would just be kind of like, fun to get together with you guys and chill for a little bit. Um, do a little do a little reminiscing, you know. Beerus, you have a good night. Happy Halloween. Thanks for coming by. Lots of good sprites in this game, I'm telling you. Like, here's some more tactics ones. Like, that's such a cool version of what this boss looks like. He, he, again, this looks better than the, the pixel sprite in tactics. You know, these guys look so good. Look at this guy. Beating him up was fun. I beat 187 of him. Take care, Pizza Pop. Thanks for watching while you're on your lunch. I appreciate it. Look at how cool he is. Like he's animated too. Like he 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 actually looks like he's moving well, you know? He looks really cool. They did such good sprite work. I don't know if I'm going to stay on till the server shuts down. That's a long ways off. I think that's like what 3 hours, right? Um I don't I don't have that kind of <laughs> I have to sleep eventually. Um But yeah. We'll we'll do some free pulls here in just a minute though. I've got some I've got a, I've got some tickets that I could use. I've got some lapis I could use. On my phone, uh, I don't have any lapis on my on my uh, emulator here. What is this? Full metal hugger. What was this from? Does anyone know what this was from? Well, this looks like uh, Dragon Quest, right? Or or mana? Okay, mana. We got the Mamba. This is such a good representation of Yego. So cool. This is a really cool looking Malboro too. What's this? I know it's just funny what you remember and that, that yes, that is the fifth, the uh, fifteen Marlboro. This was a raid or something. I can't remember what this was, what they used it for, but I've, I beat sixty-two of them, so it was a fifteen event. Yeah. And then like, I don't know. I know these are like true to what they were. And what they really look like, but like they're just such a departure from what um, they're such a departure from what the rest of the sprites in the game look like. Lasered is from Valkyrie Profile. Yeah, that sounds right. That's right. Yeah, all of this is on the wiki. I'm pretty sure they they updated the wiki with all of this stuff. It's just cool to go through it listening to the music, you know? Look how cute this toxic frog looks. He's so cute. 
So many neat enemies. Ux, what's your favorite enemy? Kingdom Hearts stuff. Yeah, look at that. What can I find for you, Hux? So many cool enemies. Yeah, the collabs are my favorites for sure. Kyo as an enemy was always pretty cool. Kyo question mark? Uh, am I ready for Kingdom Hearts 4? Um, considering I never played a single Kingdom Hearts game in my life, sure. Why not? Um, what enemies did they have for Octopath? Um, let me see if I can find some answers to that question, because... Um, monsters... Year two. I wouldn't even know where to look. Hold on. Well, I'm checking the wiki for like some some tips. Octopath Traveler. Um. It was an item exchange event. Collaboration, Octopath, Traveler. It was called... There were two events, Brigand's Den and Cave of Riho. Bloated Viper, 1317, okay. One, three, one, seven. They had this guy. So this was, um, this was from Octopath. Um, this was also from Octopath. So they had these two. Bloated Viper, and, or Blotted Viper, sorry. And Gaston and the Brigands. Which I believe was a raid. Yeah, they were both raids. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts lore is crazy. Um Sure. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna disagree with you. I just have never played it. Yeah, the sprites were huge. It's crazy. This is a cool looking. That's a cool looking dragon right there. Skull worm. We'll take a couple more requests for enemies and then we'll go do some pulls. How about that? Some ticket pulls and things like that. What are you? Oh, Tiamat, yeah. Dumbest idea in the game, trading friend points for one unit at the top of my friend list. Did you say so, my dude? The dark vision sprites were always really cool. I always enjoyed the various dark versions of the bosses. 
Lord of Shadow. This is a pretty cool looking sprite too. 1697. Um, let's see what is 1697. Okay, so that's pretty tiny. Um Number one it would be the rat. Um, 1697 is definitely smaller than that, but I think the smallest sprite is actually... Let me see if I can find it. I think this is the smallest one. 1540. Oh no, um, 1697 is definitely smaller than that. Uh, that's pretty tiny too, but the slime is smaller. I think, I think that's smaller. What's my favorite collab? Um, I think my favorite collab that we did would probably be, um, I mean, just generally, generally speaking, like the tactics ones, but if you're thinking about ones outside of Final Fantasy, um, I always wanted, yeah, I always wanted Chrono Trigger, um, I jokingly said at one point that I wanted a Ghostbusters collab, but I mean, it's, it, it's silly, you know, it's a silly concept. Um, but yeah, Chrono Trigger would have been cool. Um, you know, all kind of cool stuff. I would have loved to have seen um, Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest in, 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 in FFBE form. Would have been really cool. Oh, look at this black mage, this black chocobo wearing a mage hat. So cute. Yeah, they didn't really do a whole lot of like tactics events and stuff. They they were just so stretched out. And then you got like we got we got three copies of Zidane. Uh, actually like five copies of Zidane, but you know, two tactics events ever. Yeah, I mean Star Wars would be cool. That would be that would be cool. There's a lot of room for like what you could do with Star Wars, you know. All oh, these guys. So cute. Star Ocean versus Star Wars, yeah. Man, the mana sprites were always so cool. Atlas is the biggest monster on the list. I mean, have you seen Telfusanus? He's pretty big. Especially when you play on an iPad. <laughs> it gets like super stretched out. It's like takes up the whole screen. What were you? Just generic T-Rex. Oh, the bogeyman. The spoopy Gooligan. But yeah, this is this one remains my favorite though. You're never gonna tell me that that's not cool. I would have loved if they had made this um the like Christmas Clash of Wills. They should have done the, the cooked turkey of unknown origin, okay? I'm telling you. It would have been awesome. 
Christmas Clash of Wheels, Revenge of the Cooked Turkey. Nom nom nom. So let's see what I got. Um, we can do some we can do some free pulls and see what happens here. Um, oh, I've got I've got my weekly and my daily. Here's my daily. You guys ready for this? Gray, what was last night's dinner? Oh, but actually, I got a I got a Neo on today's daily. Look at that. Anyone want to take a guess of what it's going to be? Axtar for my final kick in the balls. An Axtar. A Clive. Rain Warrior's Prayer. Yoshikiri. Hyo. I can see that. That could be cool. I don't need anything, right? At this point, I have EX. I you know, but you potentially have EX3 everything, so... Fina? Which Fina? <laughs> Which one? There's lots. And and no saying rain, because everyone is rain, right? If you said Avalanche Tifa, you are correct. Man, I saw that NV Plus Awakenable, and, like, I was excited for a second. Tifa. Come on, Tifa. The only NV Plus Awaken unit that we got the entire time we were playing. And she is garbage. That's almost like rain. Yeah, basically. Anything else good here? No. Hey, we did get a Kyo. Uh, we got a Fina. And let's do our guaranteed, too. Yeah, they had to have one NV plus to troll. Exactly. Actually, I used um, uh, that Avalanche Tifa on one of the Clash of Wills. There was one where, like, her... Um, it was, like, the Human Beast Machine one. Um, Mechiron or something like that. I used her. Because um, it was weak to water and she, it has, she had all the, all the killers. It was pretty cool. Lightning. Oh, I should have. I should have asked you for which one we were gonna get. Chains of Fate, Mirai. You know. Yeah, that was when she got the NV plus. Yeah. Mirai represents to me, like, uh, when the game really started like going downhill. You never pulled Mirai. Yeah, she because she was when she was the first one that came out with. Um, she was the first one that came off with um, Clash of Wills. Another. You guys are saying the game is gone. Is it? Is it? Is it off? It ended at midnight. It's not. It's not midnight for me. It's 11.01 for me. It's still letting me do things. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm so overcapped on units. Yeah. Let me just sell some stuff. Hold on a second. I'll sell some rainbows. Five star bases. Uh, uh, convert. It's still letting me play. I'm like way overcapped. 
This is terrible. You can't load data sending you back to the home screen. Maybe I'm, uh, it did say that on my screen that it was unavailable. I'll check it in just a second. I'll see what happens when I try to sell these units. It'd be sad if it's really done. Is it done? It, it's, it's letting me do things. Hold on. For sale. Well, I'm still in. I get to play. <laughs> Y'all don't get to play. My vision card capacity is reached. They don't want the... Oh my gosh, I've got 23 vision cards. Oh, I think I killed it. Oh, nope, it just took a second to load. It is definitely chugging. It's like it's like not wanting to work. I wasn't planning on being here when the sh when it shuts down, but uh maybe I will be. It's still letting me play, but it's definitely it's acting weird. Um, Hux, it is a movie. The Neverending Story is definitely a movie, and it is classic. So you should go watch it. There's even a song. I'm not going to sing it. If MK was here, she would sing it. Yeah, we never got a way to, to get rid of vision cards. Alright, well, let me play now. Okay, all all the events are gone. So if you look, um, all the events are gone. And all the banners are gone. Except for unit select tickets. Um, standard summons, arena summons. I'm still, I can still summon things. Yeah, we'll go into story. It's still letting me summon arena units. <laughs> uh, I do have friend points. I can do that. Um, but all that's done. Let's go into story. Uh, it's still letting me go into story. For good measure. Let's go to uh, Earth Shrine. Uh, hold on a second. Our friends showing up. Friends are showing up. Will it let me play? Yep. Can you? Can you still download the game? It's a good question. Laville, stock, following on Twitch, making bright choices, good ideas right there. 
following on Twitch, welcome aboard. Um, sad to see you're coming along on the last day of FFBE, but we're here hanging out until they shut things off, at least for right now. Um, I do have to go to sleep eventually, but right now I'm hanging with you guys, so yeah. Thanks for hanging. It's still letting me play. Odoril, hello, my dude. Yeah, I hear you. Odoril, are you in a position for me to call you on Discord and let you say hello to everybody on Discord? Like through through a phone call? Are you in a position to do that? Cuz we never got a chance to have you on and if you if you could if I could get you on a phone call and then you could say hello to everybody through through this. That would be like us fulfilling your destiny. Um, let me make sure Discord's audio is turned on. And then I'll call you on Discord. Is that okay? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we'll use Discord. We'll use Discord. Yeah, not a phone call. I'm not calling you. I don't, I don't know your number. Yeah, I don't know your phone number, dude. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you on Discord. Um, everyone, everyone, hold tight for just one second. We'll be right back. This is gonna be great. You're gonna love it. All right, everybody, you should be able to hear him. Odoril, go ahead and say hello. Hello, everyone. I'm... Actually, it's actually pronounced as Audril, and then like Audrey with an L. Audril? Okay. Audril, that works. You're going to be saying a goodbye message to, to FFBE as well. Yeah, um, I already had a thought that I wanted to record my own for a while, you know, being in the game for so long. It's what the game deserves, and especially what Roberta deserves. Yes, Roberta. Speaking of, let's get Roberta on the screen, you know? The OG Roberta, not not the, not the that Neo Vision Roberta. This one right here. She's so cool. Oh, hands down, one of Gumi's best OG unit designs. And I've even got mine fully upgraded. I've got all of her like intrinsic abilities and her traits and and all of her stuff like fully maxed out. I wonder how high we could get her. What is? Does she, oh, she doesn't have any categories, unfortunately. Ah, that's a shame. MK is saying hello to you. Great philosopher saying hello to you. Did she have an intrinsic? No, she didn't have an intrinsic. I said intrinsic. It's like um, she had these things called um, it, like it just they were just called an enhancements or something like that, right? No, she got enhancements and then a global upgrade. Sorry, global original 
upgrades which is different from like the jp to global yeah she doesn't get any, she, she didn't get anything else after that yeah I, like latent abilities that was latent it. yes it was called latent abilities yeah it was like something totally random that like yeah uh if we go to um enhance isn't it but yeah wait huxley are you kidding me i i can't the arena is gonna enable please check back again later no <laughs> come on i i I wanted to do like this thing, the countdown when I'm logged in, and then countdown until the game ends. Yeah. Now I can't even log in. Are you? You're not able to log in at all. No. What the hell? I am. I am the only person still logged into the game, officially. <laughs> we we got to keep it on now. We got to. Can I play Arena? Arena's unavailable. Check back later. Okay, it kept me in. It kept me in. I'm still in. Yeah, right now the only thing that's open is Steel Castle, um, and then like some random enhanced dungeons and stuff like that. All the events are closed. All the summons are closed. Uh, Phantasm, I will see you later, my dude. Um, like the like the like permanent stuff, like the Nemesis fights, the 12, 12 types, all that stuff. Um, can I do my daily fragment? Yes, I can. I'm gonna do it. I haven't done it yet. So, so Odril, you, you've always you you said that you always wanted to do something. You and me, like, what did you have in mind when you when you said you wanted to do something, video wise? No, it's video. Um, just something basic. Like, think about like the actual good. Like, no offense to the people who actually enjoy the game. Um, um, past the seven star. Uh, like I think the game went downhill the moment the game started. At new visions like if we if, if if people will talk to me it's like what were some of the good old days oh, I got seven. the actual good old days the seven star era for sure so it's like i've i've played the game since the since 2016 mm -hmm. like back when the best six star in the world was lightning who has innate dual wheel and the best three star was uh barrage uh, cod yes barrage cl cloud of darkness let's get her on the screen she was one that I could never manage to get um, my hands on for some reason. Like, I just, I, even in the very beginning of the game, everyone was like, oh, Cloud of Darkness is so good. I'm like, I wish I could get one. That would be nice. Here she is. Mine, mine happens to be on an expedition right now. But uh, does she have categories? Oh, she does have categories. She's got attacker, mage, support, and three. Why would they give her categories? <laughs> yeah, I thought... You know, I thought they would at least be able to put like every single unit. I know it's gonna probably be hard, but the basic mage. Oh, you know, you know what though? They probably didn't give Roberta categories because she's a Glex unit, uh, as opposed to like this being a JP unit. So like they, they, I think they went back and they added categories to most units. So, like if we pull up a three-star unit like uh, Amarant, right? Uh, he has categories. He's in gathering, fire fire weird uh, nine and attacker so but but he's a jp unit even though he's three star so i think they added him to like all the jp units but i bet if we pull up like um aiden right um well to be fair emeran also got an nv true think, he did yeah. yeah what's another what's a better example then um well this one camille camille does not have an nv um, and she's got water. Yeah, I'm FFP. guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing they only, the only like put in effort for. Oh wait, yeah, Camille got. Oh, okay, okay. If they, I. <laughs> What's funny was in my own video I was about to record. I was gonna dunk on Gumi for the one last time for screwing at repair so so bad. I mean, if you guys know me on uh back when I still had my Reddit account, I did so many posts about how they screwed up Roberta. It's like every she got enhancement. And then the first upgrade, and then she got a reworked with other global exclusive units, and then finally her NV version. Sorry, her seven stars, and then her NV version. The one thing that they did not do was make her a Dragoon, an actual Dragoon. She's like, um, Chainer number 427, and then her Mage form and support form was way better. No, I doubt anyone actually used her in Trials or DV, whatever, in her, in her Dragoon form, so it's like... Yeah. I wanted to dunk Gumi so bad. It's like, Gumi, you suck. Well, you <laughs> know, trying to make a really good dragoon. 
She's don't think I didn't forget. No, sorry. Don't think I didn't forget about Crimson Death. The first chain jump that you guys just that they just did not do anything with. Yeah. Even in her envy form. So it's like I want to do that. I was like, yeah, we had some good times, but go me. What the hell? Well, you the, didn't give Roberta justice. This Roberta cetera, is kind of a jumper. Um, the 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 shift form Neovision. She's got she's a jumper. Yeah, but you, you don't really use it, do you? I don't I, I don't think I've ever seen Sinzar and use it to jump. Um, he doesn't because it's not great. But you know, she does do <laughs> she does do exactly what she's supposed to do, and she had some neat utility, um, in that she has this ability, um. Emissary of Demise, which boosts the um, the damage of all allies' physical abilities by uh, 15x for 10 turns, which is pretty cool. But yeah, by the time by the time we had Roberta, we also already had Sky, and Sky was a much better jumper. So, exactly, yeah, exactly. It's like I get I get that in terms of long longevity, her being a support and a chainer is way better in the long run, but like that's not her. It's not. That's not her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was made to be a dragoon, but instead she's just supporting people in the back line. So, uh, oh, Hux has a great question. What other global seven stars or less are there? So let's take a look. If we look at um, five star base, and Actually, I did. This was going to be my uh, thumbnail for my video. So it's like all of the units. Seven star or less that made it an impression on me. Uh, not sure if you can show on screen. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Let me uh, let me see if I can grab that. Hold on. Uh, I'll have to. Hold on. I'm I'm. Working my magic. Yeah, there we go. I think it's a cool, cool looking thumbnail. I like it. Yeah. The left is my audio sprite. If you guys see me on Discord, I just drop my phone and crying. It's over. Uh, the Envy Roberta is the only one that's here. Then, other than that, all these guys have been such... They're either great units or just like one of my favorites. Like, see Lightnings there, my favorite mm. series. Um, Rivera, one of the most underrated units that I even... I literally had to fight with Sims one time, trying to like tell him it's like, Sims, this unit is actually pretty great. And then Sims being the meta... Not going to meta slave, me either. Yeah, the meta ball he is, but it's video is like, no, our, our drill should stop right now. She's not that good. I'm glad you're able to use her for trials, but it's unrealistic to tell people to use her, etc. Yeah. Like the only, that was the first and only time I actually had a proper fight with Sims. Emperor Fu, his enhancement made him great. With the enhancements, I knew he was great. Like a summoner and a support. Agent Olive, the best unaliver DPS at the time when the Black Friday unit came out. Santa Rosalia, oh my god, when I noticed how good she was as a provoke tank, that she can cure status and heal through counters, that makes her like, re that's ma that made her niche news like really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Chin, his enhancement, it's a he, it's not a she. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a man in disguise, if you guys didn't know that. Yeah, his buffs made him really, really good. Um, Jake is just my, he's just one of my man crush, you know. Hey, Sid was the Rivera this. did have really great buffs eventually, Hawks. You're absolutely right. Actually, eventually, yeah. But like in in her original, I was I was using it before. I, I was the Rivera, um, hipster. Yeah, I'm, well, just, I'm, I'm just believe saying. it or not, this was bef this was before my time as a, a person who did videos and stuff. But I actually really liked Rivera when she came out too. So yeah, like she can give people cover and she can give um a lot a lot of killers before everyone just have like multi aoe killers in your own kit so and then ai katie if you guys remember the collab yeah broken stmr if you don't like katie perry if you don't like the collabs with celebrities no one could deny that her stmr was pretty good it was so good 
that you know even since like oh great i gotta pull this character now i actually I didn't get, ever get that more. one sadly i tried yeah hux, hux asked a great Does question though about global seven stars or less so i'm just gonna i've got all, i've got all my seven stars uh that are in my current like inventory right now yeah that's a there's a fan mate unit aside from Malphasy. Yeah, uh, so but Kaito Who is Malphasy, um, uh, Globals, Globals. Got Godria, Godria. the Christmas units. Krilla. Mm -hmm. Krilla was. She just keeps getting better. I think she gets an upgrade. Her enhancement and V4 just. Uh, Elisparis, obviously, the original Elisparis. Um, oh, I'm so. I'm, I feel so bad for the creators for the fan mate units they didn't get become meta at all like alice Bird is one of them because of the whole sacrificing life mm -hmm. thing that makes her not really viable for a lot of things original like seven star, star esther yeah. breaking the game from day one. Oh, i i i remember it i wrote a post about her changes and then it got picked up by everyone like oh that's my first one i should get noticed by the people uh rivera or um yeah rivera's right there um Rico, Rico Rodriguez would have been global only, right? Or was he in JP so as well? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Rico was pretty Rodriguez, cool. JP. Oh, he brought back Bolt and Strike, I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Rico sorry, is a collab. No, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry. Not Bolting Strike. Um Oc Octo Slash over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like she, uh, he and Roberta had octo slash frames, so they were they were actually yep. pretty good. He in, had bolting strike as well, though. But but yeah, um, octo slash was one of the rare ones. He had a jump too. He was a dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here, Myra, of course. Uh, well, you say global seven star, so we're thinking like anything that's global original. Yeah. Barrel. Yeah, it's Myra. Oh, my, Myra Sylvie. was really good. Seven star Everyone So the, there were a lot of seven star units that were global only, um, and some really really good ones too. I am gonna miss slots to choke about. Actually, thank you very much. Did you ever do the um, the Zargabath Ber um, Berserk strat? By the way, I did. I'm pretty sure I even have a video about it. Cool. Uh, I record. Maybe, maybe it's one for. Let's see. Who was it? Trying to see, like, no, now I'm just like replaying the old days of my uh, past. Those good old days. Back when there were only six stars and then seven stars. All the various Halloween units and Christmas units, they were all, of course, you know, global only that were available. Um. Oh, wait, I really think I recorded a video, like, um, showing the star Six star Christmas. Ling. By Super it. cool. She was very good. I did not get Ling until Seven Star Era. I was yeah. so mad. And was like, yeah, yo, she's so good. She's a, like, she's like the first unit to like, no, one of the good units or easily accessible units for MP Vision. Like when everyone have to rely on Ether. Yeah. It either that or have um, Noctis. I can't do any summons. That's very sad. I had a bunch of I didn't have a bunch of EX tickets. I had some EX tickets. I can't do anything now. That's sad. Bummer. So yeah, there were there were a lot, Hux. I mean, um back in the back in the early days when three star units, four star units, five star units mattered, there were a lot of global units that did a lot of really cool things um that really like spiced up, you know, compared to what JP units had. And then they try really hard to like keep up pace in JP by giving them their own JP upgrades that never go to global. Mm -hmm. And and units themselves never go to global. Cater. Uh Cater, who who's Cater? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? There's <laughs> we 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 <laughs> got Cater. What are you talking about? I think we have it. Isn't there a three star cater or something like that? Yeah, we did. We, we have we have we have every one from uh, Ico. There, there's Cater right there.
Actually, you know who really is Cater? Is, uh... Right there. There's, there's your Cater. Global Cater, right there. Okay, nobody realized it was an actual character. Who was the seven-star thief girl with the whip that was skipped? Um... Seven? Seven-star girl with a whip. Do you mean... Shinju? She wasn't skipped, though. We have Shinju. We were able to farm her gear. I don't even know what you're talking about. We got her event, but not the unit. I don't know. Was this, like, a recent thing? Because I know we had a bunch of times recently where we got, like, weird... Like combos of um, events and stuff that didn't get released at the same time. It was after the Zyle Awakening. Okay. I don't know. I can't remember. Star Whip. It's really sad that we can't yeah, no do idea. anything. All we can do is like old trials and stuff mm. at this point. Can we do trials? Can we do. Yeah, it's permanent contents. So we can do trials. I think. Yeah, I was I was gonna over yeah, like still some of the some of the most absurd trials that we had, like at launch. The Mal the Malbo trial was crazy. Honestly. Igion was crazy. Intangir was if weird. You, if, Intangir was hard if you didn't know the the rotation. Yeah, but we've got scenes out of that. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> Antonola was another one. If you didn't understand like how resistances worked, like it was really difficult. Um, oh yeah, and I remember fighting like Igai for like an hour and a half. Oh, I have I have screenshots of that. Me sixty. It took me sixty turns, and then two B came out. Um, yeah, this is actually my things. Like, um, like me telling people, like, uh, did you know that this happened? Did you know this happened back in the old days? Back when when two B, the OG two B was one uh, was released. There was she was the start of killer buffs. Mm -hmm. She had one for she she had one for machine, but was, um, but Gumi didn't code it correctly. So when you bring her to Igayon, she broke. I mean, she reached damage limit. She was dealing. I was it. Was it still two point seven mm -hmm. billion at the time? I yeah, know. that was that yeah. was it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, I remember watching a video of um, Howl just messing around and like accidentally killing Igayan with, um, with two B. And once I knew that, I saw Clay was on. I was like, "Hey, Clay, did you know what this happened?" And then Clay killed him. I, li I like to think that was the first instance of DM um, Gumi fixing to, to fix it because they probably like uh, spy on some streamers, I guess. I don't know. Hard to say how they did things. Ah. I mean, they didn't make it clear that, you know, like Sims confirmed it that he would watch some content carry videos and that's how they got feedback. Mm hmm. So it's not it's not entirely it's not entirely inaccurate to say that Sims was yeah. the one who always like telling me like this stuff's broken, fix it, and it's like, oh shit, if Sim says it, we gotta fix it. Yeah. Crazy times. So uh, out of curiosity, what is your I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh what is everybody's login days, total login days? If you don't know how to find this, oh, I you go to um, I couldn't check my... you go to the menu, trophies, and then um, records. Welcome back, Clarity. My total is three thousand and fifteen. Well, I can't. Well, no, that I can't uh, in at all. Okay. Actually, my <laughs> records just wiped out. You just saw it on screen. <laughs> My records oh, okay. just disappeared. I have no records now. Oh, there. It, it, I got it back. 3,015. 3, no one can log in. I'm apparently the only person who's logged in the game. I'm not logging out. Now I now I can't log out. Like if, I'm, if I'm the only one here. I'm, I'm scared to, like, go to the login screen. Like, if I push 
return to login screen? Is it gonna like not let me back in? I think so. I I think you risk it if you want to stay. I'm not control. risking it. But I'm also afraid to click on anything because if I click on something and then like the game like says no data available and then bounces me back, then I'm out. Like right now I'm in, you know? Can I look at my friends list? Can I collect gifts? I can. So you're not in either Odril? Or Odril? No, I've been trying to lock it. It keeps it keeps saying it keeps saying the arena. Yeah. Uh I'm not yeah, I'm 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 tempted to just not log out ever. Oh, this is sad. Is it letting uh, me I think It's I letting me receive backup. gifts endlessly. I... Yeah. Oh no, I found I hit, yeah, I, I, think, hit I think I think I think I got a backup. I did like a four minute like rehearsal. Uh with the game with the background thing. Tommy's uh, still with in. the game playing in the background. So I guess I should just use that. Yeah. Just keep looping it back. Yeah. I would so do that. Yeah. It's time to play fire weapon. Yeah. Or you could make your whole video just you sitting on the home screen, unable to log in, <laughs> and talking about <laughs> things. Yeah. You're running item world. Is that the only thing you can do? Yeah. I mean, I I I could do that. Um, are shops still available? Let's go. Let's go check out shops. Um. Clash of Wheels shop still available. Uh, that's insane, Tommy. Exchange shops are still available. But the, the, the timeline on those say like um, until the end of time, so 1031. So these are still here, but I don't think I can do anything. It's like, even if I exchange currency for stuff, like, uh, what is it? This? Yeah, like, I've got a bunch of this currency. I could exchange currency for these tickets, but I can't use the tickets. There's no point in doing it at this point. All the summons are gone. So yeah, we're just here, apparently. People who are logged in are still in. I don't know what to say about that. That's sad. I guess uh, people who are on Facebook are now doubly unable to log in. Mm. That is really impressive, Tommy. 3,025 oh, consecutive login days. How many, how many, how many, let's see. Um, 3,025 divided by 365 is 8.287 years worth of logging in every day. My, um, consecutive is only a thousand, so my, or my record for consecutive is 1,167, so that's like, what, three something, almost four years? 3.19 so I'm just typing November 2nd 2016 to January 4th 2021 what's the number of yeah I like quit the game on 4th January 2021 mm -hmm. I've been I haven't missed a single login since I started playing in 2016 so mine would have been 1,524 days. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What is everybody's... Okay, if you're if you're in the chat, what's everybody's favorite vision card? Let's talk about vision cards. Can I still look at them? Uh-oh, my game's acting weird. I think it's just the vision card menu freezes on my screen. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, let's go back to the menu because you can look at vision cards that way. Uh, guides, vision cards. Oh, it's asking me to download data. Uh, I'll go ahead and download it. It's downloading data. That's right, Clarity, you did always enjoy Type Zero. Let's listen to that one. 
I think you can. I think you can test drive the music on this screen, can't you? Uh, where is Type Zero? This one. This is a good one. It's very epic, yeah. Um, Ultros' opera music. I do actually have that one. Um, I have to find it. I love the conductor in the background. I always, I always loved that, um, that scene in six, and I love the mouse running across the top, with the, um, the weight that he's trying to push off. It's a good one. One of my favorites is going to be um, if I can find it. This one. I feel like the um, the Dark Lineage event was really cool, and the music was really good, and the, the characters were really cool. a good one. Although the, um, what's it called? The Esper of Destruction music's really cool, too. Let's see if I can find one of those. Like this one. It's got a different feel to it, but it's really it's it's a good one. Rain and Lastwell fusing up and yeah, that's that was a cool story event too. That was um what that was called um was it the return? The story was called the return. Yeah, this has a very tactics feel. Grass flute tactics card. Okay, give me a second. It's good. But you know which one I like more than this one? I, as much as I love this card, you know which one I like better? This one.
Yep, the Agrius card. Very cool. Very epic. Um, I have, I have him. He does not have a vision card though, so. Does anybody else have any favorites that we can play really quick? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I quit, but it's fine. They actually had soundtracks of envy cards. Yeah. Like, um, 2021. What was that up, up, up to? What's up, Capitano Jack Sparrow? Hello, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Was it like after Elbrin's then? Like previous that? Um, 2021. Yeah, Eldrin. Eldrin was. Uh, if you stopped in January 2022. Um, well, no. If you stopped in January 2022. Yeah, that would have been. 2021. 2021. Um, yeah, I think that would have been. Um, I think that would have been right after Eldrin, yeah. Yeah. Um, Apparently nobody can enter the game. Like I'm, I happen to have been in when they made some sort of change, um, and so like I'm able to just stay in, and so I'm sitting here. Um, but apparently, like if you're not able to get, like if you weren't in when that change happened, like you can't get in. I'm afraid to even click on Arena. Like if I click on Arena, I'm afraid it's going to kick me back to the beginning. Damalara, hello, welcome to chat. We, we we spoke briefly uh, in Flip's Discord. Hello. Yeah, if you're if you're in, you're in for right now. Uh, no, the summon button summons are gone. Um, summons are there's nothing available. I wanted to do like a final finale. The only thing you can summon is friend points and arena summon, and if you have like select tickets, like ran some of these random things, everything else is gone. They've already gotten rid of all this stuff. It's sad. And events are gone too. Um, so if you go to Vortex, yeah, all you can do is Steel Castle. And like the permanent stuff. You wanted to get the last, the the, the newest Laswell as your last final unit. Capitano Jack Sparrow, thank you for the follow. Since you followed, I'm going to snooze ads for the next five minutes. So there will be no ads for the next five minutes. Thank you for following. Summoning is over. It's over. We were actually doing summons when summoning got turned off. So we we were we were one of the last people doing summons in the game, um, which was kind of funny. Like as I did my last 15 pull, um, Lux was like, Hey, it says I can't do summons, and like mine were still loading on the screen, so it was pretty cool. What was my last unit? Uh, let's take a look. Um, I was at least. Oh, I already sold them. Like the yes, my last one was Mirai. That's right. I was able to do like one final dailies um, when it was reset. I fought. It was time yesterday, but I forgot how time zone works. You know, being in Asia and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I might, might as well just do something. My last unit in that summon was the Freavia. Uh, Neo Vision like, or, or uh, regular? OG, OG Freavia. No, OG Freavia, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, technically we've got like, I think, um, two hours and 13 minutes left of the game being alive. Um, but I'm probably going to stop here at about, in about 13 minutes, just because I do have to go to sleep. Um, I have to work tomorrow, so I'll probably go to bed here in a little bit. I'm glad to have gotten a chance to hang out with you guys, though. And I'm glad I finally got a voice. <laughs> yeah, and you got on. You got on here. I'm. I'm. I'm so glad you mm. came out because then we got to finally talk in person or on on Discord and get you on my stream, and that's pretty cool. Not very many people have had a chance to do that. Mm. D Berry did once. D Berry came on my stream for something. We were talking about like um, we were talking about uh. Like Tuesday prepper stuff, and he came on to, to join me for that. Where oh, uh, where Jackie is asking me. where is who from Captain Jack? Who where is who from? Who are, who are you asking? So AMK said earlier that Temple was is that Tommy? Is is Temple's in? Yeah, T Temple's in is Tommy. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 Uncle Tom. <laughs> Everybody's favorite <laughs> uncle. Tommy, did you ever figure out how to get uh, red star quartz? Were you able to figure that out? I know some of those those red star quartz missions were challenging every week, you know. Can't do them right now. <laughs> I can't demonstrate how to how to get red star quartz for you. Um, but they they or can I? Nope, I can't. It's gone forever. Red Star Quartz is gone. Oh, I mean, you yeah, that, that was the aim of my videos anyway. Like in in these kind of games where it looks like you got to summon the, the the best of the best, the most recent of the recent to clear content. Now we're here. It's like, no, you don't. You don't. You can still use your all units. It might take longer turns, mm -hmm. but you don't have to spend a hundred bucks to get the shiny new unit to clear content. That was always my well, aim, you know, in in doing videos and stuff like this, because like I thought I always struggled to get the newest units. Um, and without being able to like chase after everything, like I had to find new ways or my own way of playing, which was to use mechanics and things like that um, to work with what I had. Now, I eventually reached a point where like my summon strategy was pull for Clash of Wills units because they were needed for that game mode. But like um, up until that point, I was always trying to use whatever I just randomly had. Well, yeah, he, yeah. Here's here's the thing, Jack Sparrow. It's that, uh, it's global is 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 in the literal sense, a different game. It's run by Alim and Gumi, but Gumi is mostly running the show, and because Gumi is also working on World of Division, which took manpower from FBE, and that's why the global got affected, but not JP, as JP has their own team from Alim, and. Global had Gumi. So, and you should, like, not to say that it's all Gumi's fault, whatever. Obviously, the higher positioning Square Enix was well, the one that has the final say. But considering Square Enix will be like, I want you to run both games, FFB and World of Vision. And then they look, oh shit. Oh, wait, my like, let's swear, sorry. Hey. Like, oh damn, uh, you're not. <laughs> at, the, at this point, oh, what are they gonna do? Demonetize me? <laughs> It's like, oh damn, uh, it turns out the global isn't doing so bad, so we're just gonna make you guys focus on World of Visions, and then here we are today. Yeah. It's like, it's a very simplistic way of looking at it, but that's essentially how I see it, how it goes. Yeah. It's like, if they wanted to run both, they would, but because the higher-ups wanted World of Vision more than FFBE, I mean, then more than FFBE Global, that one had to be nuke and clearly water vision is making more money than FFB. well and that's really what drives it right is is money like p 
people people will be like, why do they skip this unit? Why do they skip that unit? Why don't we get this upgrade? It's because they want to sell you something else. That's always been what it is. Um, no, but some of them, like, I think if you've seen some of Sin's video when it comes to like, reviewing banners or something, it's like there are some banners where it makes no sense for them not to do. Mm -hmm. Like people waited for that banner. I'm pretty sure like like uh, like, like Hater was really supposed to be really good, I believe. Like yeah. said it was she was really good. Mm -hmm. And they skipped her. It's like she's a money maker and they skipped her. So it could be money, but it goes that's some but then there's some weird things going on in the higher ups. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, wait, Clary serious? Hey, I, I thought it was the other way around too. Because Alim made JP first, and then Gumi made Global. So I figured that was it. Let's let's Google. Um. Gumi Inc. This is the history page of Gumi Inc. Um. Oh, I see. Yeah, um, Alim was acquired by Gumi on October twenty third, twenty fifteen. Okay, there you go. Um, Alim. They said so that the, my understanding is that in terms of like helping um, is that once it came over to global, like if there was if there was an issue with like the code, like Alem wasn't really willing to work with them on how to fix issues. They was just like figure it out, um, which is where a lot of things got busted and broken and messed with and why they had to build so much from the ground up. That's that's yeah, my understanding. It's, like, it's not. It, it, it wasn't just the global original stuff they got, but you know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was like the thing they poured over from JP also had problems. It was like, why should it be problems when it's like the same thing? It's it's not that hard to speculate that yeah. I mean, might not have that much of a hand when it comes to global. So, yeah. <laughs> So here's an, here's another question for everybody. Um, for those of you who have not already said like what you've moved on to or what you're currently playing, what kinds of things are you guys uh, moving on to or messing around with these days? Oh, if I'm allowed to talk about my personal life, yes. <laughs> you can talk about whatever you want. I don't, you know, we, we brought you here. Yeah. No, it's like, aside from like moving on to other gacha games, well, I'm playing two right now. I'm gonna mention you guys were playing with the playing two gacha games right now. But ever since I've quit FFBE, my time has been... Not, not, not that my family knows I'm not playing FFBE anymore. I'm not recording any videos anymore. They're like, Audrey, you need to help around. My, uh, my family's business. Mm -hmm. so I've, been, I've done mostly that. And then I started entering university again. And damn it. Like, uh, finally get my degree. And then a couple years into that, I found my boyfriend on Discord, and then we're gonna get married in a few years. That's exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Very cool. Congrats. Like I never not. Thanks, thanks. My family would think, oh, typical. I'm gonna find a woman of your dreams, and they'll they're very very surprised. It's actually a man. Saying they're surprised would be an understatement, but I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. 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 Well, that's super cool. And you said in, in, within yeah. a few years, right? Within a few years, because I said, uh, in, in a few years, because it'll be very inconvenient for me to get married when I'm still studying. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're waiting until I'm graduating, and then I move into his house, and then we'll get married. Very cool. I mean, it's a good plan. So, I'm, Finish what you're finish what you're doing, yeah. you know, get your life organized and yeah. then get married. It's like we're not in a position where some people are like, when are you getting when are you getting married? It's been so long. Well, it's already been like three years, but you know, you know what I mean. It's like 
uh, why are you holding off the marriage for so long? Like, this time is practical. I need to, I need to actually finish studying. I need to pay off my loans before even thinking about paying God knows how much for the wedding venue mm -hmm. and everything. Because my boyfriend is very particular. He wants like a fusion of both our cultures. And then we're thinking of like inviting our personal friends from overseas. Like he has some um, American friends. I have some American friends. Like I, I was thinking of inviting Tommy, maybe Sins, uh, maybe Tetsu as well. Okay. Um, maybe. Yeah. Do, do you want to? Do you want to come to our wedding? Sure. Uh what country is it? <laughs> oh, uh, it, it's. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna move to Australia. That's where my boyfriend. Uh, my boyfriend. I at. would love to go to Australia. I. That would be super cool. With enough time to plan for something like that, going to Australia would be awesome. Yeah. Put another shrimp on the Barbie or something like that. <laughs> he does not. The first time I made that joke, he was not amused. Oh, I'm sure he wasn't. I'm sure if you say anything <laughs> about putting shrimp on the Barbie or the dingo eating somebody's baby, I'm sure he's not amused. Captain Jack says, I will not play any more mobile games or gotchas. I only play good games, the ones you can download and take forever on Steam. I am inclined to agree. Like I'm, I'm pretty much off gotchas, and I'm trying to play more games um, that like reward skill. Um, so I'm, I'm right there with you. No, I'm doing the same. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> like one, one, one gotcha. Uh, one gotcha I'm actually playing right now is Wooding Waves. Oh yeah. Um, it you could people people call it the the Souls game of gotcha, where it actually requires skills to the content, like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter how much you wail. I mean, it does matter. Like if you just wailed, like to get the, the highest rarity and their like signature weapons, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. You actually gotta learn how to play the game. Yeah. How to dodge, parry, the rotation, everything. It's quite. It's quite interesting. Um, that you know, really skillful players can just use a single four star to be the hardest content. Then you'll see like posts on Reddit where it's like, I have this guy. This guy's this character and weapon how can i why can i get clear at all you can and then they like will post some gameplay and it's like uh, really awful rotations they do not do dodge so like it's it's the reason why it's like i was sworn i want to play an energy gacha game after ffpe but winning waves caught me off guard we're about to see an, like, another minute or another hour go by, by the way. So it's about to be midnight my time. And I'm going to, I want to see if anything like turns off on my end. Like if I can, okay, now it's midnight now. So I want to see if I can like click through any menus if anything changes. Nope. Everything's still working so far that I can access. I'm, I'm scared to click uh, arena um, still at this point, um, but we're still, in, we're still in. Yeah, I'm gonna try to log in one more time. If it's not, then yeah, there's no hope for me to li uh, live the final days. I'll just use the four minute footage. Four minute footage I got. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still in. Clarity, you're terrible at games, so gotcha for you. I mean, hey, you know, you you do you, boo. Whatever works. Or play one of those freaking point games. No skill, just wait. <laughs> no skill, just will. Uh, the new the the news panel still works. This is funny. You can continue to use lapis you currently hold until the end of app service. Uh, no, you can't because they shut off summons three hours early. <laughs> well, that's still a shop, isn't it? <laughs> Bundles that cost lapis. Um, let me see. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, my dude? Uh, if I go to the shop. Yes, lapis bundles are still existing in the shop. <laughs> so, <laughs> send support tickets. Yeah, while you're at it, make sure see if you can get Facebook working again. Arena just says currently unavailable. Please check back again. It goes back to the home screen in game. Okay, cool. Score. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm. In, I, I I've already said all my goodbyes. Like so, like I'm. I'm ready. For I'm ready to be done and not like I'm not like agonizing over it, but I will say that like watching people's posts on social media and stuff today, um, it, it did kind of stir up a lot of feelings like I didn't think that I was going to be 
you know, feeling any kind of way, but like after watching, seeing, seeing people like post like screenshots of like their first days in the game, um, people saying thank you to people, um, to their friends and, and stuff like that. It, it's, it's been moving. It's been moving. I, I participate in, um, in Reddit, uh, on, you know, I, I, I moderate on the Facebook group, um, uh, seeing people in discords and stuff like that. Um, you know, so it, yeah, it's it's definitely been interesting. Zamalara says the really only hitting home in the final hours for some. Yeah, I think so too. Um, uh, yeah, especially people who like didn't for what for one reason or another did not finish all the content. So like if you didn't, um, if you didn't do it, and you're like trying to get it done at the end, and like happened to be a Facebook player and you got kicked out, like too bad. Can you still add friends? Um, It lets me, I mean, I'm on the screen. I don't know if, if, if somebody tells me their friend code, I'll try and search for them and see if it pulls them up. I still I'll try to see if I can find my friend. Oh, wait, it's on um, 684. Oh, hold on. Let me go back to the screen. Yeah. 684. 791. Mm-hmm. 343. Three. Uh, yeah, you're there. I'm, I'm requesting you. Either me or that unit, <laughs> that friend has reached their friend capacity. Oh, it's probably me. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might just say I quit. So yeah, I, I left. No, yeah, I, 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 I didn't full. just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't stop at like completely on January 4th. I came back when Envy Roberta was back and I could not get her. I had like what? 30,000 lapis. I know that's not enough for Kitty. But, you know, I was for sure, like, maybe Gumi can throw me a bone right, and just get me, let me get my final unit for, for, for the final time. Let's, nope. let's and test I, this. I'm going to get rid of a friend who has not played in 36 days. Um, Zamalara, I'm going to request you. So let's see if we can still add friends. Um, all right, let's see. Seven, six, four, eight, three, five, six, eight, six, eight, nine. Zamalara. I'll have to go to look at my friends as one final time. Um, I, I still had um, you are I You are still this. full of friends, Zamalara, so I cannot request you. Please try again. Since I stole your room for his friends, I, that's fine. I still got Tommy, I got Mr. Snake. Clarity, yeah, you're on my friends list. Jonathan, yep, I still have you as a friend. You guys are, if you're an active player, I've been able to keep you. I mean, I'm still in it right now. I'm wondering what's going to happen here. I'm sure eventually it's going to kick me out. Um, yeah, um, somebody else send me a code and I'll see if I can request them because I have... Um, let me see. I'm at 199 out of 200, so I should be able to add friends. Um, but it's just not working. Seven, six, four, eight, three, five, six, eight, nine. Try one more time. Yeah, it says, uh, this user has reached their friend request capacity. Oh, that means that means you have a bunch of people sitting in your requests that you have not dealt with. So you need to go to this menu. Hold on. If you go to request and you you need to like clear out a bunch of these. I like clear out a, a handful of those and I'll try again. Seven, six, four, eight, three, five, six, eight, nine. All right, let's try Captain Jack. Zero, seven, one, 
694481. Best too many numbers. 0716941811 It let me send it let me send a request. Yeah. So that's cool. Make find another person I can bail on. I don't know this person. See you later. I want to see if we can get like, we can actually re uh, process a request. So like if Zamalara, who is in the game, can do it. Let's try that again. Seven six four eight three five six eight nine. Yeah, let me know let me know once you've actually like cleared out some of those requests and I'll I'll try again. Or I'll do it right now. Hey, I sent you a request. So Zamalara, try and see if um see if you can re receive that request and, and see if you can make that work. We're just testing things now to see if they work. <laughs> this is fun. It's probably going to take like 45 minutes for the friend request to show up, but you know, that's how it goes. Remember when I said I was going to go to bed? It's like 40 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> oh gosh. Now I'm having fun though, you know? We're, we're seeing if stuff works. I had to go to the home screen. All right, let's see if it, if it works. Yeah, it, it, it added because now it says 199. You're welcome. Thank you for being my final FFBE friend. You're locked out score. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I think everybody is. So at this point, like if you're not in the game, you're locked out, I think. So. Yeah, I'm not feeling an urge to go and like screenshot everything. Um, I just, you know, wanted to spend some time with you guys tonight. I think I am going to go, though, um, because I do have to go to work tomorrow in just a few hours. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Do your yes. favorite trial with your favorite old school team. I would if I, I, I mean, I just, I, like I said, I, I've done, I've done it, you know, um, I've, I've played through the content of the game, so I'm going to go. Um, it's been fun, though, guys. It's been fun uh, streaming and creating videos and creating content um, and responding to comments. And um, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. So um, for those of you who pay attention to, to, to YouTube, definitely hang out there and definitely come back on Twitch. We'll be back tomorrow night on Halloween or tonight, I guess, on Halloween. Um, doing some spooky stuff and yeah, so I, th I think to end my, my stream, I'm going to go to the home screen, return to title. Here we go. And try to log in. With that, I am officially out of the game. Yeah. Yep, that's that's it. So 
error occurred while loading data. Return to the data screen. Data failed to be loaded. Will be downloaded upon restart. Yeah, that's it. That's that's very anticlimactic to my to my time with FFB. Tommy, uh, thanks for coming by and hanging out. I hope it was. I hope it has been therapeutic. Yeah, I'm I'm glad we had we got a, a good good bit of fun looking at sprites and listening to vision cards and and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go, guys. Are you gonna make? Like, wait, 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 before you go, are you, gonna, are you gonna make it final by actually deleting your account on the top left there? Oh, should I? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them handle it. <laughs> I'm gonna let them handle it. And and thank you, um, Audrey, for for coming in and talking with us for for a few minutes. Oh, for sure. I'm just, I'm just really happy. I, I should get to be on one of these. Yeah. I guess if there's one thing I don't have a platform of, it's like a bunch of followers would actually want to listen to what I have to say. Not not doom saying or anything, but like, it is what it is. People watch me when they want. Yeah. But... All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let go of you first, and then I'm gonna cut the stream. So you have a good rest of your day. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good sleep. Yeah. And everyone, thanks for joining us in this FFB journey. Even though I've quit the game for many, many, many years ago, I'm really happy that you guys get to play the game that you love and that you guys are actually here to say goodbye with us. Very good. Well, you have a good one, okay? Bye. 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 And everybody else, we'll see you when we see you. Have a good night. <laughs>